Hello viewers, welcome to Physics Dream Class. Now I am presenting very 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 important topic how to find Green's function for a boundary value problem. After watching this video, I am sure that you will feel Green's function is nothing. Yes, to find Green's function there are three steps. The first step is take the differential equation and find its general solution. We know that how to find general solution for a differential equation. Now the second step is write the general form of the solution in one form either side of x is equal to x dash that is boundary condition that is at boundary condition write the general solution in the Green's function form that is as g of x x dash is equal to c1 y1 of x plus c2 y2 of x at x less than x dash and d1 y1 of x plus d2 y2 of x at x dash less than x that is at x is equal to x dash there are two solutions as x less than for x less than x dash and x dash less than x. Here y1 and y2 are two homogeneous solutions to the given differential equation. The third step is find the constants c1, c2 and d1, d2 by using boundary conditions. There are almost five conditions that are satisfied by Green's function. From that, I am taking two conditions to find the constants c1, c2 and d1, d2. The first condition is g of x, x dash is continuous at x is equal to x dash. That is at boundary value. And the second condition is the change in derivative of Green's function is increased by only 1 for delta function. That is g of g2 dash of x dash minus g1 dash of x dash is equal to 1. Here, here observe that this is not the second derivative of the Green's function. This is only change in the both solutions first derivative. This is only change in first derivatives of the two solutions. Now take the boundary value problem. This is from CSAR net June 2018. Step now, step one take the differential equation and find its general solution that is. This can be taken as d square plus 1 into y of x is equal to f of x. The solution is found as d square plus 1 is equal to 0 that is d square plus i sorry, d plus i into d minus i equal to 0 so the solution is y of x is equal to c1 cos 
x plus c2 sin x. This is general solution. Then step 2 is Write the general form of the solution as Green's function. G of x comma x dash is equal to c1 by 1 of x plus c2 by 2 of x for x less than x dash and d1 by 1 of x plus d2 by 2 of x for x dash less than x. Now step 3. Finding constants using boundary conditions. Here y of 0 equal to 0. We have y of x is equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. Here y of 0 equal to 0. y of 0 equal to c1 cos 0 plus c2 sin 0. Here sin 0 is 0. Then y of 0 equal to c1. But y of 0 equal to 0. That implies c1 equal to 0. This is for x less than x dash. Now take the condition y of pi by 2 equal to 0. This is for x dash less than x. Now, y of pi by 2 equal to here the constants are d1 and d2. d1 cos x plus d2 sin x. is equal to d1 cos pi by 2 plus d2 sin pi by 2. Here cos pi by 2 is 0. Then this is equal to d2. That implies but y of pi by 2 equal to the boundary condition given is y of pi by 2 equal to 0. Then y of pi by t equal to 0. That implies d2 equal to 0. This is for x dash less than x. Here this is equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x for x less than x dash and d1 cos x plus d2 sin x for x dash less than x. This is g of x comma x dash equal to. Now the Green's function becomes g of x comma x dash is equal to here c1 equal to 0. Then this term will be 0. And this term remains. That is C2 sin x for x less than x dash. And D2 is 0. And so this term will be 0. And this is this remains. Then D1 cos x for x dash less than x.
Now to find C2 and D1, I am using the condition satisfied by green function. That is, first condition is g of x comma x dash is continuous at x is equal to x dash. Then c2 sin x dash is equal to d1 cos x dash. This is first equation. And the second condition is the way to change in the Green's function is increased by only one for delta function that is g2 dash of x dash minus g1 dash of x dash is equal to 1. Here g1 is nothing but c2 sin x and g2 is nothing but d1 cos x. So g2 dash of x dash is d1. The derivative of cos x is minus sin x dash. Here we are taking x dash in the place of x minus g1 dash is c2 the derivative of sin x is cos x is equal to 1 this is equal to minus d1 sin x dash minus c2 cos x dash is equal to 1 that is d1 sin x dash plus c2 cos x dash is equal to minus 1. From equation 1 c2 is equal to d1 cos x dash by sin x dash. By substituting c2 in equation 2, d1 sin x dash plus d1 cos x dash by sin x dash into cos x dash is equal to minus 1. Then d1 sin square x dash plus d1 cos square x dash is equal to whole by sin x dash is equal to minus 1. Then d1 into sin square x dash plus cos square x dash is equal to minus sin x dash. Then d1 is equal to minus sin x dash. By substituting d1 in equation 1, c2 sin x dash is equal to minus sin x dash into cos x dash. Then c2 is equal to minus cos x dash. This is equation A and this is equation B. From these two, we find the constants D1 and D2. By substituting these two constant constants, we can get the final Green's function. That is... This is equal to C2 is minus cos x dash minus cos x dash sin x for 
x less than x dash and d1 is minus sin x dash minus sin x dash cos x for x dash less than x here it's cos x dash sin x minus sin x dash cos x and the boundary condition is x dash x less than x dash this is nothing but 0 less than x less than x dash less than pi by 2 and this is 0 less than x dash less x dash less than x less than pi by 2 this is the final solution you can see some other solutions on green's function in my next video